beautiful people. Do you like stories like I do? Do you feel very excited when you hear, you know, an interesting story and you really have this rush to share your perspective or comment or give a contribution? If that is who you are, then stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back beautiful people. My name is Ujumpo of Ujumpo Unravel. So today is our storytelling day. In this episode, we're just telling a story. An interesting story that is. I'm going to tell you the story, tell you my perspective, my thoughts, and I would urge you to please kindly comment on the comment section and tell me your opinion and your perspective to the story. Okay? So, first of all, in my language, we start the story by saying, Oti Oyo. Oti oyo. Emwela kukonga kolunu. Kola ni naine genti. Modin ma. Modin jo. E e e. Anya choro batu neba. E ma nebe panala nyinto. You what people understand this thing. But anyway, it's just a way of saying story, story, story. Story, story, story. So, there are two guys, two friends. Um, they moved from Nigeria to the United Kingdom for, you know, search of greener pastures. Um, the first guy, I would call him Tony. Okay? So, don't mix up the names. The first guy's name is Tony. So, Tony went to the United Kingdom for greener pastures. Studied, I was working, you know, got settled, I was doing okay. Then, somehow in the streets of London, through another friend, he met another guy called Victor. Right? So guy number two, his name is Victor. He didn't know Victor from anywhere, but somehow, you know, through a common friend, Tony got to meet Victor. And Victor needed a place to, to stay because he just moved in. You know how it is when you migrate, things are hard and all that. And Tony welcomed him and housed him for 18 months. In this 18 months, they lived well, no issues. Gave him free accommodation. He wasn't paying bills. You know how it is now. Like, you've lived abroad and you've heard stories. Ha! Nobody houses anybody for free. Even mother does not have house daughter or son. Neither does brother do anything free for the sister or vice versa. But this Tony with his large heart, you know, admitted this guy, welcomed him. Both of them lived together for 18 months till Victor was able to, you know, gather himself, got a job and then moved out. So the relationship was okay. 10, 15 years later, they lost contact. For some reason, Tony decided to move back to Nigeria and he was finding it very hard. Now, about 10 years after he moved back, things were still very hard for him. He was struggling. Bear in mind also that Tony is about 13 years older than Victor, right? And you know, in this part of the world, age and respect means a lot. So all these nuggets I'm giving you, just keep it somewhere because they'll come into play with your own you know, perspective and suggestions. If it doesn't matter to you, of course, feel free to say it. But bear in mind that Tony is about 13 years older than Victor, right? Remember, Tony is the guy that helped Victor on housing for 18 years. And Tony was the one that moved back to Nigeria, was finding it hard even 10 years after he got back, he was still struggling financially. Surprisingly, Tony's younger sister went to an office, is actually you know, looking for contracts, and she heard that the contact she had had been moved and there's a new guy so she needed to present to this new or guy with you know the new team and all that so one thing led to another after the presentation they started talking and victor realized that this young girl is actually tony's younger sister and he was excited and said oh my god i've been trying somehow to get in touch with Tony. I heard he moved back to Nigeria after finishing his studies in London, blah, blah, blah. Things were a little bit hard. Yeah, he got a job, lost it. You know, things were hard and he decided to move back home. And um, he doesn't even know how he's doing. Um, he's asked common friends, but nobody seemed to know where Tony has been. Could you kindly please, you know, call Tony so that I could greet him? So of course, the sister was excited, called the brother, the big brother, Tony on the phone and said oh big bros guess where i am guess who i'm talking with i'm talking with victor so so and uh, oh both of them like exchange pleasantries victor was you know obviously excited oh tony i've asked this guy about you they said they don't know where you are you're not even on social media i've been looking for you you know when i moved back to nigeria myself about five years ago i tried to look for you because i heard you move back 
but you know, I couldn't get you. I life happened and I forgot and I moved on. Oh, okay, how is life? And then Tony says, ah, life has been very hard. He said, okay, no problem. Um, collect my number. Guys, this is the main point. Now, the story, this is where there's a conflict and different opinions. So Victor then said to Tony over the phone, remember they were making that call through Tony's younger sister's phone right the phone was on speaker so the three of them could hear so victor then told tony ah tony please eh, collect my number from your sister and call me so that i can see how we could work together how i can you know help you with just fix you up with something and when the sister left there of course she sent the number to the big brother and called him subsequently to say hi oh, brother i'm so happy for you blah, blah, blah. and he was mad first of all why would you call me without giving me heads up. That was what the big brother said. How dare Tony, a guy that I'm 13 years older than, that I'd helped in London and housed for 18 months without collecting a dime from, ask me to collect his number from you to call him for him to help me. What kind of disrespect is that? When I helped him in the UK, did I ask whoever to tell him to call me or whatever? Didn't I just hear his situation and then help him without any messe messe or serere? Why would my own case be different? If he really genuinely wanted to help me, what I would have expected him to do was to immediately collect my number from you and call me. If not for anything, for the fact that I'm older, for the fact that I've helped him, and for the fact that he owes me. So for him to say that I should call him, I know typical Nigerian guys, he wouldn't pick my calls. He would disrespect me more and make me feel less of a man than how I feel currently. So I'm not going to call him and I don't think he's the helper that God would send to me to help me. Of course, the sister didn't understand it. The sister's perspective was, brother, shall I try? Sometimes people might not even want to help you, but because you're persistent and of course backing it up with prayer and being positive with your approach, they won't have a choice. They will even feel that you're repairs and they will do it. Also, I don't see anything disrespectful in him saying you should call him. You're actually reading meanings. You're being too sensitive and too, you know, maybe difficult. So that is my story. And that is the end of my story. So guys, please tell me in the comment section what you think about this story. Personally, I think the Tony guy is being a little bit difficult maybe because nigeria you know this nigeria the, the hardship in nigeria can even enter the way you think can enter your brain and you, be, you begin to see red where the color is actually blue or see blue where the color is actually pink again i can't understand a little bit what he means by it. sometimes if you think you owe someone you might really even go out of your way to do some certain things because you feel i need to pay this guy back but some people don't think about it like that Maybe Tony didn't process it like that. Maybe being a man, he didn't want to call you and kind of like impose you that he wants to help you. He wants to give you that respect. Given the fact that you're also 13 years older than him, he doesn't want to bombard you with calls or whatever. He just wants to give you that respect by saying, call me at your convenience. Anyway, that is my story. I would really love you guys to please comment. This is a storytelling um, episode where I would need more comments. What you think, how you saw this video, what your opinion is. Okay, so please guys, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to keep the button somewhere here. Um, like, share, comment. Please just tell me what you think. I would really love you to please subscribe. I beg you. I'm begging you guys. Till next time, guys. Hang in there. The next is best. Love you. Bye-bye.